the console tool lets us send queries to our Elasticsearch cluster using a convenient syntax that's much easier to use than sending requests with curl, for instance. It helps us in a number of ways, including JSON formatting, auto-completion, etc. The tool is located within the DevTools app. To the left is an editor where we write queries, while query results appear to the right. As you can see, an example query has already been added to the editor. I'll get back to that one in a moment. First, let's type out our own query though. Let's write one of the simplest possible queries that returns the health of our Elasticsearch cluster. First, we enter the HTTP verb for the request, which is get for the API that we are going to use. Following the HTTP verb is the request path. We'll use the cluster health API, so let me just type out the request path for this API. Notice how Kibana helped me type that out with auto-completion, which is quite convenient. Also notice how the leading forward slash within the request path is optional. If we don't add it, Kibana will do so for us automatically. I just like to include it, but that's just a matter of preference. To run the query, simply click the small triangle to the right. The results are displayed as a pretty formatted JSON object to the right. Don't worry if you don't get the same values within the results, because that depends on your Elasticsearch deployments. Most Elasticsearch APIs require a request body containing parameters. An example of that is the query that was added for us in advance. The body of requests is simply added as a JSON object below the header. By header, I'm referring to the HTTP verb and request path. This example query contains the match underscore all query within some simple query DSL. Let's run this query as well. To the right, we can see the search results being exactly the same as we would get if we used any HTTP client, for instance. Those were the basics of the console tool. It might not seem like a big deal, but this tool is actually super convenient for writing queries, compared to writing curl requests on the command line, for instance. I use the console tool myself for writing ad hoc queries. It's also useful if you're a developer, because you can write and test your queries here. When you're done, it should be fairly simple to translate them to one of the Elasticsearch client libraries, or a plain HTTP request for that matter.